Hi guys, in some parts of the world the energy will be short and at many places the energy costs are rising rapidly. In this video I will show you 11 tips how to save energy on your Linux desktop. Let's start. I am going here with Linux Mint Cinnamon but this video is suitable for all Linux desktops and distributions. So let us start. So let us start with tips with high impact. At first I head over to my power management settings here and in the power options I select here five minutes turn off the screen when inactive. So after five minutes if I were inactive the screens automatically go out. For me this had a very high impact in the last weeks because when you are away or you're doing something else in the room but need the computer running then this setting is perfect. For you it could also make sense to automatically suspend your computer within also five minutes but in my case I won't do this because sometimes I need my computer running but for that I will also give a tip in a few minutes how to suspend your computer very fast if you don't need it. So this is to the power management. Let us head over to our keyboard settings. I open up the tab shortcuts and here under system just click on it you will see a keyboard shortcut for suspend. Just select this one. I assign another keyboard binding for that. I double click this one and press Control alt s So instead of Control alt l which is locking the screen with Control alt s I now suspend my computer very very fast and I do this all the time if I go away during the day and I don't need my computer anymore. When my computer is running and idle my power consumption is about 40 or 50 watts. If I head over to suspend mode it is only 2 watts. So this tip is saving you a lot of energy because otherwise my PC were running through all the time. <laughs> Let us head over to another tip. When you're going to sleep or you don't need your computer for the next many hours shut down your computer completely in the suspend mode almost every hardware component is also turned off but for example the memory cards have to be powered and when the computer sh is shut down they also don't need any power anymore. So let us head over to another tip. When you have a desktop PC I advise you to clean your computer regularly. I cleaned my computer two weeks before and since then my computer is much more silent and the fans now need less power to cool the hardware components of my computer. Also let head us to another tip which for GNOME users, specific the GNOME users with a new GNOME version have pretty well integrated. It is the so called power profile steamer. I'm running sudo apt install or run a similar command on your distribution and we are installing this tool here. This tool here tells some hardware components for example the CPU how much power to use. With the command power profiles control I see here my different power profiles and if I run this command on my actual hardware you see the power profiles control could also detect some more profiles which is great. And you can now switch between the profiles with power profiles control set and then for example select power saver here and now you for example told the CPU if supported that it should take less power and in my tests it had a very high impact. Also many users from our German forum also had the same experience. This control over the terminal isn't quite nice. Some desktops are having this function integrated into their graphical user interface but Cinnamon at the time doesn't. Maybe someone of you or maybe I will have the time in the next days or weeks to create a simple applet in the taskbar here 
to control the power profile. Just let it me know in the comments if you want to see such a video. So these were tips with high impact. Let us come to tips with medium impact. My next tip is about screen brightness. On all my monitors, I turned my screen brightness to a 70%. I can read and see everything still very good on my monitors and I'm saving a bit energy. Also, this is careful for your eyes, especially in the evening. If you have a laptop, you usually set the screen brightness in your energy applet down here. Also, another tip, use for your devices a power socket with switch. So whenever you don't need anything of your electrical devices, switch off your power socket. And in my case, with three screens and my PC, I'm saving about five watts. Now let us come to tips with low impact on your power usage, but they should all have also a specific but low impact. Let us head over to our effects menu here in my case and turn your effects off. With these, some CPU cycles are saved, which will in the end save some energy. Also another advice, consider using a desktop which uses lower hardware resources, which uses lower resources, for example, XFCE. This definitely should also save some CPU cycles, but in my test, I didn't see too much impact on my power monitor device. Also another tip, just control your startup applications. Maybe some of them you won't need anymore. For example, I turned off the VMware user agent support for NVIDIA Prime because I don't use any NVIDIA card and also the Mint welcome screen. Also, if you are doing much more with your Linux PC, just check which processes are running. You could do this very easily with the command ps tree, which gives you a nice tree of all processes you are currently using or which are currently running. And maybe you will see a process which is running, but you don't need anymore. For example, I found for me a Apache server and also I found some Docker containers, which I don't use anymore. If you have Docker installed, just run Docker PS and look for instances they don't need to run every time. Also check on your taskbar if you have Bluetooth activated. When you don't need Bluetooth, just disable it with right click on it and select disable Bluetooth. These were 11 tips how to save energy on Linux. Please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. This video was very hard work. And now if you want to theme your Linux Mint into a bit older look, you can now head over in the end card how to turn your simple Linux Mint desktop into the old Windows XP look. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.